with the, I would say the longest intro ever, but any Coheed fan would know that's most certainly not true. Um, but we do have a long intro here, but this is Ladders, one of my favorite songs on Vaxxus 2. Uh, it's got the kind of trademark darkness that speaks to me, really resonates with me uh, in terms of like the uh, tapestry of the Coheed soundscapes. And yeah, we'll kind of let this intro rock and then uh, we'll get into talking about the drums. Oh yeah, something, something wicked this way comes. All right, here we go. Nice product shots, we like that. Now ladder shows up late on the record, but I view it as like, it's like a whole nother new intro to another side of the record. Also trying to bring more things I view as more like theatrical, these just kind of press rolls. You know, creating drama. Yeah, no, I love this. This song was really tough when we were demoing it. Me and Zach, the tempo changes here. And I think Claude had written it so long ago, he didn't remember that. So we're like, gosh, why did he like the click? I just demoed it with no click track, but um, I really like the way it kind of builds the tension throughout. And I think that, you know, that's something that uh, I think we do pretty good in Coheed. Zach Cooper, man. Uh. Let's fly. You know, this was about trying to be powerful, but kill, still keeping it back and fat and... Do, 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 do. Ah. Again, you know, as a drummer, I really try to like, dissect Claudio's life at the time and get into the mindset, get into his mindset of kind of where he's at. And I know he had been, and I could tell from the music, been listening to a lot of, uh, you know, like Broadway stuff. And I tried to approach it like that. Like this, we're no longer a rock band. Like we're really telling a story and trying to paint things it, like that. And that's where those press rolls, and things, just some air on the drums. Not necessarily even like a part, it's just some drum air with the kick drums, kick drums following the guitar. Brings us into this groove though. You can tell I was having fun playing this, I got. I really love this part here, the... Dun, 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 dun. I wanted that to just scream. I wanted that to jump off the speakers. And I think, you know, we don't always succeed when we try to do things. That's one of the moments I felt like it really succeeded. And that's always my job on the drums. That's, that's what I aim to do is to try to elevate what's there and try to bring it to life in a way that didn't exist before me. And I think this song's a really great example of that. You know, Coheed writes a lot of stuff that kind of exists in this pocket. Uh, and I, I had talked about on the other video for Rise, Nayanasha kind of doing some things that are, that I would consider classic Coheed. Um, and that's true in this one. Um, some of those. When we were recording this, I just threw this in there and everybody in the, I could see in the control room was jumping up and down. They were like, God, it's so metal, but it's so cool. This is cool, this part's cool. 
and interesting, very different. Oh, get it, come on. Get it. Now the guitar is kind of being palm muted like that. I wanted to stick in that realm and because it lends it, it gets you to this part where it can really open up. And again, we're staying back, we're staying fat, but. And again, another reason keeping these videos so au natural, you really hear the real playing, the real drummer, uh, the ghost notes kind of helping to inform the pocket. And that's the kind of stuff, it just happens on records. That's not a knock on it, we just lose that stuff. I don't think anybody wants to hear me sing. <laughs> yeah. This song's dope. Oh, this is the part that's on the record, actually. It just, it's so filtered and affected, you can't tell that it's drums, but this groove is sick. All right, at the end of that song, that drum pocket is so heavily filtered and affected to where you can't really tell that it's drums, which was cool. We thought that was awesome. Um, it's actually supposed to melt into rise, which it does. I'm not sure if we ever got it exactly how it was supposed to be. I could feel where the rhythm was. And then we left LA and some of that stuff that gets done in post is coming at us and it's a lot of stuff coming at us, but Either way, Rise Nayanasha follows ladders and it does melt in, but I don't know that we ever got it. It's supposed to be seamless. Um, I even actually just tried to do it with my mouth and I screwed it up, so it was kind of hard, but maybe we did get it, maybe we didn't. I'll have to hear the final version put together to know for sure, but that was Ladders, one of my favorite songs on Vaxxas 2. Uh, you're kind of... Uh, again, I don't want to overuse the term quintessential, but like that's the dark coheed, the dark, progressive, brooding, kind of scary... Uh, very storytelling-esque uh, Coheed that I love that resonates with me. So that was one of my favorite songs. And I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thanks for watching.